What is up YouTube, this is Vault here, back again with you guys in a new Speed Duel deck profile video and today we are featuring the Chaos Ritual deck profile and if you guys haven't seen the Speed Duel match of us playing it in action, be sure to check it out as well. Uh, definitely highly recommend you guys watch that video in particular because you know when you see this deck profile you might be thinking okay what do I need to do with this, the ideas uh, and look at it can kind of be a little bit confusing so to really learn how to play this deck properly I highly recommend you guys watching that speed duel match video anyways right here uh, before we go straight into our uh, deck profile as always we're gonna go into our sleeves uh, review right here we're using just simple link reigns version 2 uh, black and blue just to match up with the rituals um, the ritual colors of the blue and black right here with our Magician of the Black Chaos and Yami Yugi here play match. so of course we have to match them all up right here. Anyways, moving into our skill, we are playing Ritual of Black Mastery. Now, just want to quickly mention to you guys, I have posted a Black Lesser Soldier Ritual deck profile uh, quite a while back on the channel, and this is basically sort of like an update or an alternative version to play this together, and I really, really hap I'm really happy about the outcome of this deck because it seems to be much more consistent, much more powerful, much more interesting and fun to play compared to my older build. And I did mention my older build, I kind of felt like it wasn't there, it wasn't as good, but your, your guys and your comments and suggestions down below really really helped me out in uh, really improving the deck and I really really want to thank you all for doing that and I hope you continue to do so you know as always be patient with me help out with the community in the channel as well with all the other followers and subscribers and help them out and I greatly greatly appreciate it anyways ritual of black mastery right here uh, we're gonna have Yami Yugi skill right here and basically um, you can activate this skill during your main phase while you control black lesser soldier or magician of black chaos if you control black lesser soldier uh, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's uh, skills and also once per turn if your opponent activates a trap card immediately it resolves you draw one card if you control a uh, magician of black chaos instead it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's spell effects and also if magician of black chaos destroys a monster by battle add one spell from your graveyard back to your hand and what we're going to do in this deck profile we're going to be utilizing both Magician of Black Chaos and Black Lesser Soldier. Essentially before you only play one, but I, we came up with a build right here that plays both of them at the same time. So anyways, moving into our boss monsters, we are playing two Black Lesser Soldiers right here, of course, and then we are playing two Magician of Black Chaos. Now I did mention that I have a preference, I kind of prefer Black Lesser Soldier, simply it's got the higher attack, but 2800 Magician of Black Chaos is still really good, and man, that ultra rare just looks really, really fantastic. I hope Black Lesser Soldier gets an ultra rare in upcoming uh, tournament packs and stuff like that, but we'll see down the road. But it's important to play a balance of both to really utilize each of the skill. Now I realize the versatility is that you can play around many, many different scenarios if you're playing both of them, rather than just one. Anyways, moving into our other monsters, send you triple three of copies of these 100%. You need to search these guys out as quickly as possible as always. And of course, triple Sonic Birds right here as well because you need to search out the ritual spells. And simply because, you know, uh, we don't play any rituals, uh, we don't play any skill that sort of helps us grab those uh, spells as quickly as before. Three Sonic Birds is definitely what you need. Now, we're not done with monsters just yet. We're gonna go into more interesting monster takes right here. We're gonna have an uh, interesting, sort of like I like to call it, the vanilla or normal package engine. So we do play Triple Gilgarth simply because it's one of the best vanilla monsters in this uh, current game. Uh, we do play one Warrior Digrapher, simply it's the second best normal monster in the current game as well. We do want to maximize on these guys because we will be utilizing them for two purposes. But the first main purpose, just so you guys know, is they're normal summonable monsters with high attack and you can beat your opponent down that way. Last but not least, we're actually playing one Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now this is really, really interesting. You're really going to summon this guy, but you guys probably know that we're going to be using a specific ritual spell to help bring out our Magician of Black Chaos and Black Lesser Soldiers far more quicker. And we only need one because Black Blue Eyes White Dragon is a level 8. It is It can be very, very bricky and clunky, so one is just perfectly enough overall. But I'm going to keep these monsters here and I'm going to go into our spells and explain how this works. Uh, we play two advanced ritual arts and that's just basically the meaning of playing these normal monsters here in the deck. Now usually you want to pitch off blue eyes white dragon, very in the odd chance you might need to tribute it to summon something to get around the nightmare wheel, mask of a curse, maybe get rid of the opponent's lava golem, whatever you need. 
there may be that slight chance, which really gives that like, extra versatility. But otherwise, 99% of the time, I would say you're using events which will are to pitch away your blue eyes black dragon straight to the grave to help you bring out your magician or black chaos or black lesser soldier. Now, the reason I don't want to play more than one is because I mentioned it gets bricky and clunky. That's why you would play Gilgoth and Warrior Digrepher. Now, not only they're just normal monsters that are high attack and beatable to beat down your opponent. Also, they utilize very well with advanced virtual art. If you can't use Blue Eyes White Dragon anymore, use Warrior Digrepher and Gilgarth. You basically pitch away one of each uh, or, or two, two basically, and they make a level 8 essentially to help you bring your Black Lesser Soldier and uh, Magician of Black Chaos. Anyways, enough of that. We are playing one of each of the uh, original ritual uh, spell cards that are used to summon each of the Black Lesser Soldier and Magic. Uh, uh, Magician of Black Chaos um, cards right here simply because if you do draw into blue eyes or if you do have cards in your hand that you just want to pitch off like monsters that you want to pitch off for the, for the ritual summon this works out great as well so this is a very interesting ratio right here but it just works very 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 great uh, next for more spells um, I would also highly recommend uh, Factor of uh, Dark Factory of Mass Production, just to recur some of the normal spells if you guys would like as well, but I didn't really really need it, but I do play uh, two Night Beams right here for back removal, and the last spell I do play is Fulfillment of the Contract, so that you can recur your uh, Magician of Black Chaos or Black Lesser Soldiers to summon it back. You guys can switch this off for uh, factory of, uh, Dark Factory of Mass Production, totally up to you guys. But that basically rounds off for the spells, and I guess the vanilla package I was going to talk about. So we're going to move into our traps. Uh, we don't have many uh, in this deck, but I, we do. It is definitely important to play them as well. So last but not least, we play two dust tornadoes here, simply because of the backward removal cards uh, right here. Now, um, the main deck basically consists of uh, I think more than twenty cards: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so 24 card deck right here. Now, I did emphasize before that you really don't want to be uh, playing a 24 card deck unless you have a lot of draw power or search power. But we do have a lot of search power right here. We have Senjus, we have Sonic Birds, we have Advanced Virtual Arch Art, which is sort of like a deck thinning uh, type of, which has deck thinning capabilities right here. So essentially, 24 cards really works very well with this deck. It's very, very difficult to play this deck uh, with uh, just straight up 20 cards and not 24. Because you know you don't get you don't see your combo pieces. You're gonna need those uh, specific cards uh, a lot more as well overall, and you just want to see them as quickly as possible. But anyways, we are we do have a side deck. So moving on, we do play one extra dust tornado because of a lot of back row cards. One offerings. You guys can even main this and switch this out for. Uh, uh, fulfillment of the contract which works really well one gap the divine soldier just in case if you guys need to be tributing same sort of reasoning with blue eyes um you know this is a pretty good cool uh side tech card to play overall as well if you guys are also also against a lot of flip decks uh one golden ladybug to counter basically twisted personality um we don't play twisted personality in a side deck we don't side in any other skills we really really need to keep this skill right here we really want ritual of black uh ritual of black mastery to utilize the most of it and siding this away is just not as good i would say uh one dd crow uh to round off for any uh, graveyard centric decks which we won't really honestly i don't see we don't see it that much in this meta but eventually we will maybe uh, and then last but not least, Jaw of Avrice to recur. I always like this as a, as a tech card, simply because, uh, not a tech card, but as a sort of like tech side card as well, just in case you're doing grindy matchups. It's just really, really great and comes in great handy uh, at all times. But yeah, that's just basically my own, own opinion on the side deck. I know you guys might have uh, different suggestions. Uh, definitely let me know in the comment section down below, and I really appreciate the uh, advice as well. Uh, last but not least, of course, we always do have uh, our, you know, six fusion monsters for the extra deck just in case so, uh, so just to let our opponent know just in case we might get into it but you know hopefully sooner down the road we'll get more decks that utilize the extra deck and yeah so that basically rounds off the entire deck profile right here guys once again keep in mind this is just more of a casual fun deck uh, it's not very competitive you guys can try to bring in a competitive scene if you guys do let me know how it goes uh, but yeah it's really just for fun more in casual and really nostalgia factor for bringing out blacklisted soldier and magician of black chaos just for yami yugi right here while we still can so yeah let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think if you guys enjoyed the speed duel deck profile be sure to hit that like button subscribe to evolve channel for more awesome speed duel content as always thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a great day great night wherever you are stay tuned for the next video and this is vault
signing out.